Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to start the fifth unit. I completed the four units. So if you want to go through about the previous uh, units which I have explained, so please watch my previous video so that you can understand uh, this unit, which is unit one, unit two, and unit three. Now I'm going to explain the unit five. So the unit five also contains the two parts. So the first part is knowledge soup. So in this, uh, before going into the unit, so you have to know about some keywords which is vagueness, uncertainty, randomness and ignorance. So these four things you should have some clarity so that you can understand upcoming concepts in this unit five. In this unit five. So let's understand about these four concepts what it is and uh, how it will be working with the real time example so that you can understand more clearly. Okay let's start the fifth unit. So Let's understand first what is vagueness. So, vagueness refers to the lack of precise boundaries or definitions in concept or statements. Means to say simply, what is vagueness mean? It's lack of statements. It's lack of statements. So, means will not define the statement clearly. So, at that time, this problem will be arising, which is vagueness. Means which is a lack of statements or we can say lack of definitions. So, if we're defining any particular object, if we lack to define the particular object clearly, at the time, vagueness will be arised. So, that is, uh, yeah, it arises when terms or predicates are not clearly defined. So, when they are not clearly defined, this problem will be arising. Yes or no? So, it should be clearly defined to know about the particular thing. Yes or no? So, if, for example, in general, if you don't know about particular object, so what it is and uh, how it will be useful for us. So, you have to know about the particular object very carefully so that you can understand about that particular object, how it will be useful for you. Yes or no? So, without knowing about the particular object, without knowing the benefits of the object and how to use that object, how you, will be, how you can use the particular object. So, you have to know about the particular object very clearly and carefully so that you can use it. No. So, the same scenario will come here. Yes or no? So, it should be clearly defined. So, next, it leads to fuzzy and unambiguous. Unambiguous, not ambiguous interpretations. So, what is this ambiguity in general which is not clear? Yes or no? Some confusion or it's not clear. It's not clearly defined. Or another meaning is nothing but vagueness. So, vagueness is nothing but ambiguity. So, this thing, so which is not clearly defined. So, they have uh, used the one concept which is vagueness. So, that concept is baldness. So, what is about this baldness? Means it's lack of a lack of hair. So, for so many people, they will be having some hair fall condition or hair fall problem. So, that problem is known as baldness. So, that problem is known as baldness. So, this is one example for this vagueness. So, they have given some scenarios. Look at here, a person with no hair. So, the person who is having no hair is known as a bland. Okay? And others may consider thinning hair as blandness. Or some, or some will consider like if hair will be going, like the hair will be so thin due to the hair fall. So, that condition is known as blandness. Or if if person is not having any hair also. That person also, we, we can say that it has a blind, blindness person. It's leading to different interpretations depending upon the person. So, the person view will be different. So, the hair fall is different and no hair is also different. So, no hair means hair, hair is not there. So, that type of person is also, we can say, blindness. Or if due to the hair fall also, the hair will be going, like hair will become so thin. So, that condition is also not blind. So, different scenarios, they will be having a different scenarios. Different scenarios, they will be pointing out. Like, different interpretations. So, they will be having different interpretation according to the different situations. So, that is known as blind. So, we will not define clearly. So, we have so many situations. And the so many situations will be using the same thing. Which is not defined clearly. So, this type of problem is known as badness. So, which is not defined clearly or lack of statements or lack of problem which we are having. So, lack of definition on the particular concept. So, 
we have a particular concept which is blindness so it is not defined clearly at which scenario we have to say the blindness is clearly and pakka it should be blindness so it's not completely defined clearly the current scenario so this concern comes under this blindness i think you understood what is blindness some it's simply it's nothing but the lack of definition for the particular concept so here they gave a real time example so where you all will be relating to this uh, example so the concept of middle age so what is this middle age leads to precise boundaries as different cultures and individuals may define it differently so depending upon their culture the middle age definition will be different so at one culture they will be considering that okay the 42 60 between age people are nothing but the middle age people so some other other culture people may consider depending upon their health habits or health conditions or their milestone their life milestones or health status depending upon their health condition they will be considering about this mile age so the mile age is not defined clearly so depending upon some, some situations they will be changing the definition and so now one can at one culture they will be uh, saying like at particular age they will be considering as a young people or old people or middle age people so at other culture they may say differently so they they like middle age uh, definition cannot uh, have the clear definition or pakka definition it should be in this way only so the depending upon the situation depending upon the culture they may change the middle age definition can change so it is not defined clearly lack of the statement so it's not having a pakka definition as yes or no so this is also one type of a vagueness example so i think you understood now what is the vagueness real meaning now next one is uncertainty what is uncertainty in general what is uncertainty which is not correct which is improper incomplete yes or no in general we'll say no it's it is not complete it's which is incomplete so that is known as uncertainty yes or no so uncertainty arises when knowledge is incomplete so when it is incomplete so our topic is about knowledge so when the knowledge is incomplete so the knowledge with the information with the data which we have taken is incomplete so we have some more data we have to collect so that type of thing is uncertainty which is not complete as yes or no or when there are multiple possible outcomes so we have one scenario for that one scenario we have multiple outcomes but we should have only the single outcome as yes or no we should have only the one single output but we have so many outputs in that which one we have to choose which is appropriate so which is incomplete okay that type of things are also uncertainty so it reflects the lack of certainty so which is not certain which is not correct yes or no which is not correct or confidence in the truth so it is not conf- we cannot say confidently yes it's, it's a true statement so it's a correct statement so which is incorrect you cannot say confidently okay accuracy of the statement so even the accuracy also not there next so this i think you know about about this uncertainty in general which is not complete which is incorrect which is not certain so this all comes into the uncertainty definition so a real example is weather forecasting so we can predict the weather what will be the weather condition for tomorrow and day after tomorrow also but it may or may not be correct it is it cannot be consistent result yes we can predict that tomorrow it will be raining but it is not correct it may be sunny also okay we cannot predict it should be same as what we see so it may be inconsistent also it may be wrong also we cannot predict the accurate result so that type of uh, things are known as uncertainty uncertainty the weather forecast is the uncertainty result so it will be providing the uncertainty results not the certain results okay and one more example also in the financial markets like predicting the stock price it may go up and down according to the situation according to the market which is there outside according to that the stock price can go up and down as well so this is also one type of uh, uncertainty only so we cannot predict correctly the what is the price of the stock what is the price of the stock we cannot predict correctly it may go up and down next one is randomness what is randomness randomness refers to the lack of predictability or patterns in the sequence of events or outcomes it means it's like a lack of outcomes so what we are predicting or what we are doing it's lack of outcomes so so we thought 
will get this type of output but will not get that type of output so it's lack of output it's known as randomness okay it is characterized by the absence of any order or regularity okay and making it impossible to determine the next event based on the previous ones. okay means what they are saying based on the previous event we cannot predict the next event yes or no with with the previous event um, the result we cannot predict then what what will happen the next yes or no so they gave here the simple example so that you can understand so this is the rolling the die or oh, you all know about the die how will be playing no yes so the die will be having the six numbers like one two six so when a person let's consider we have two persons person a and person b so person a rolled the die and he got the number as six but by seeing the person a we cannot predict the person b out outcome yes or no so by seeing the person a output we cannot predict what will be the person's b output yes or no so with the previous output or the previous outcome we cannot predict the next outcome what it will be coming yes or no so depends upon the situation how we'll be rolling the die we cannot predict by seeing the previous output what he got by seeing the six okay person a got six so person b can come other output so we cannot predict by the previous output yes or no i think you understood about this example so we cannot predict no by seeing the person's a output what will be the person's b's output Yes or no? The, with the with the seeing the previous output, we cannot predict the next output. That is the main logic in this randomness. I think you understood about this uh, example. No need of further example. Yes or no? Yes. Next, next one is ignorance. What is ignorance? It refers to the lack of knowledge or awareness about the particular object or we can say subject or the phenomena. So in general, what is ignorance? Means ignoring. So okay, we'll do next day, or we'll do next day. So suppose let's take the example, real time example only. So yeah, uh, the faculty gave the work to complete the particular project within two days. But with our ignorance, we left like okay, we have more two days. No, let's we'll do let let's do tomorrow. Let's do tomorrow. Like that, we neglected, we ignored, we ignored the work. Yes or no? So that is like. This example, I think you related, yeah, which is lack of awareness. So if we don't have that much awareness, so we'll be ignoring the things. Yes or no? In general, yeah, it it encompasses both known and unknowns, and unknown and unknowns. So what is this known, unknowns, and unknowns and unknowns? Yes, let's understand. So known, unknowns means it. recognized gaps in knowledge so in the gaps it will be recognizing what are the gaps are there between the knowledge that is known as known unknown means he know he doesn't know like that unknown 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 unknowns means aspect beyond current understanding he is beyond understanding current understanding yes so no so this is thing so let's take an example so that you can understand and uh, yeah advertises in neuroscience so this is the example so we are, scientists are aware of this gaps in knowledge but may not fully comprehend the extent of what they do not know yeah you know like scientists will be doing some research so they know everything they know about the what to do and the how to do but what will be the result they cannot know Yes or no? So they know what to do, but what will be the result? They don't know. They, it is unknown. So the theory, the knowledge, they know, but the result, they cannot predict. Yes or no? It can come anything. So this is one example for uh, ignorance. Yes or no? Yeah. So let's take one more example: the explosion of deep ocean. So it uh, represents a significant area of ignorance. So the depends upon uh, depends upon the area of ignorance. the explosion of the deep ocean may occur yes so no. so to reduce this problems they should have some technologies modern technologies so that the explosion may not occur i think you understood about this three this four keywords okay vagueness uncertainty randomness and ignorance if you know the main thing you can write by your own and you can write your own 
example so no need to write this example only you can write your by your own example so if you know the thing okay so what is vagueness it's like a lack of statement so when we will not define the thing def when we will not define the particular thing very clearly example the age the age of the particular thing of the age of the particular person may differ for the different cultures so they will be depending upon the culture they will be defining the particular age as one yes next uncertainty means which is not correct incorrect okay which let's take the correct example is weather forecast we cannot predict the, the output so we can predict but it may it may be correct or it may not be correct also yes prediction means it may or may not be correct so that uncertainty means which is not correct result incorrect result or uncertainty result so that one and what is a randomness lack of outputs means we cannot predict the previous by depending upon the previous output we cannot predict the next output it's lack of output or lack of outcomes by the previous outcomes we cannot predict the next output what will, will be there by the example of rolling the die which is the good example for this next ignorance what is the example for the ignorance neuroscience like in the scientists they will be doing so much research but they know what to do but what will be the result they don't know they cannot predict it may come depending upon the thing yes or no so this comes under the ignorance so these are the four um, keywords which is very simple if you understand it's very easy and you can write the example with uh, your own no need to write only this example this no one will be restricted to write only this example you can write by your own if you understand you can write by your own it's as simple it is yes or no yes sir yeah that's it about this concept and that's it for this video thanks for watching let's meet in next week